I'm live. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I just wanted to, I've been meaning to do this live just as sort of like a PSA for you folks that may tune in. But if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that recently, you may know, I've been doing the college shuffle. What's up, Brack? Egyptian dude. Uh, being prepared is a topic today, and I should have been prepared. Mike Vance. I should have been prepared with a tripod. Oh, last semester. Congratulations to you. You are prepared. Eduardo, what's up, bro? What's up? This is going to be a quick one. But being prepared is AFC Nugget. What's up? I should have been prepared, guys. Wowzers. Do you shave? <laughs> no, I do not shave my... All right, I can't do... I can't put any special effects on. Let me get to the topic here, guys. Being prepared. I've been doing the college shuffle. I don't want to put a lot of miles on my vehicle, taking my kid back and forth to school. Did you like the unboxing of the Sherrod, of the Heritage? It's pretty sweet. So, Pedro, what's up, amigo? Anyway, I'm going to ignore some comments to get through this, and then I'll chat with you guys. Thanks, bro. I like it. <laughs> All right. Being prepared. I rent vehicles now when I go on these long trips, and... The other night, I'm taking my daughter back to George Mason, which is like a five-hour ride. And Sunday night, we were having all kinds of bad weather, ice and snow and all kinds of garbage. I have been renting vehicles for 20 years. This has never happened to me. I get uh, two and a half hours into the trip, I get a sensor reading. Your tire is losing air. I mean, it was losing. It went from... 31 PSI to 20 PSI in like five miles. So I know I'm losing air and I know I'm probably not going to be able to fill the tire. There's something wrong with the tire. So quickly get off and get out of the vehicle. And I had to change the tire. And a couple years ago, I did a video, which I will post in the description box of this video after I'm done, and it goes through how to change a tire. So for those of you who have loved ones, or if you don't know how to change a tire, you should change it, learn how to change a tire. I don't know that my video will help you. I mean, hands on, you really gotta get your hands dirty, guys. What's up, Mark Day? But if you have kids that are going off to school, you owe it to yourself and you owe it to them to teach them how to change a tire. The nuance of where the jack is, making sure that their cars and your car has a spare that works uh, or a spare that's full, your jack is in working order. Um, doing an inspection of your tires before a long trip, being prepared. There's value. Because if I had not known how to change a tire, what's up, Sean? If I had not known how to change a tire, I would have been stuck. I'd have been waiting. It was a holiday weekend. I'm taking her back. I'm halfway through the trip. So the funny part of the whole thing was when I, I was in the uh, Buick Enclave, and I look in the back of the, the vehicle in the trunk and it, it didn't seem to have a spare. <laughs> so you need to know these things, guys. I guess the moral to the story is to try to be prepared. And because, you know, stuff happens, right? So again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below this video to a video I posted maybe a year, year and a half ago that shows you step-by-step step how to change a tire. And share that video with 
people in your life that you love. But better yet, get out if you have kids, if you have someone that doesn't know, if you don't know how to change a tire and do an inspection of your vehicle, reach out to a friend, to your parent, your brother, your sister, someone who knows, and make sure you got it there. So now I'll get into some of these. Do I have Disney Plus? You know, this is the second time I've heard of Disney Plus in the last couple of days. No, I don't have Disney Plus, but I'm hearing that Disney Plus is the way to go. Do you? Do you have Disney Plus, Brown? You have Disney Plus, too. Is Disney Plus the way to go? Now, I'm hearing that the millennials out there. Yes, I will. Mike Vance. I will, I will pick up my care gift from you. $6.99. All right. So it's $7 a month. And it's good for kids? I get with Disney, right? But it's also good for millennials who've grown up with the Disney uh, franchise, correct? And it's also, Disney Plus is also going to give you uh, original content, I'm hearing. But is it just for, you have Disney Plus too, Mike Vance? <laughs> Double AFC Nugget. There's a combo with Hulu and ESPN for $13. Cutting the cord. I should do a whole show on cutting the cord. How many people out there have cut the cord from cable? Oh, M. Jones, Michigan. Let's not even talk about it. You get Hulu for free. I get HBO Go for free, I think. But I've never used it. Comcast. This is becoming a cable, a cable TV and streaming TV discussion. Council TV. So your family cut the cord in 20, 2009. And you're not affected by it, right? Because you want TV on demand anyway. Guys, I got to wrap this up. You don't have as many options in Toronto. <laughs> agnostic, agnostic human. You give me a Rolls Royce and I'll review it, bro. That's all I have to say. So when you cut the cord in, in 2009, did, were you affected by it? Huh. So Mark Jones, what was your reasoning for cutting the cord? Was it because of the, you know, economics or did you just find that you didn't like any programming or a little bit of both? What's up, Joe? You haven't cut the cord yet. Yeah, I think cutting the cord is difficult because you need the Wi-Fi. It's more about Wi-Fi at this point. You can find whatever you need on the internet. That's right. And you can watch it whenever the hell you want to watch it. Mike Vance. Mark D. Oh, yeah. We the North. Raptors, how are they doing this season? It must have been a sort of a letdown after uh, Kawhi left. But that, that was fantastic last season, boy. Yeah. Oh, they're doing great? You need to rub off a little bit on my Knicks because those boys are bad. I mean, bad. Wow, eating no at home. Huh. 
I got to get back into the NBA. I just, I just, I've fallen off of, um, you know, watching sports. I used to be a huge baseball fan, Yankees, the Knicks for many years, and Jets. I just don't have the time for, for sports like I used to. Uh, this is what I do for fun, bro. Talking to clowns like you. <laughs> and I say that in a loving way. Three's company. I love rugby. When I traveled abroad, the first time I traveled over to the UK, I think I watched rugby on the plane or somewhere, and I was like hooked. But then I couldn't find it. But with the internet, Egyptian football. I, is Egyptian football like rugby or is it soccer? C two four six three three, Mister Carl. I I can golf, Carl, but I'm not a, I'm not really a golfer. But I enjoy some time on the golf course, bruh. I used to film golf, for the company I worked for. <laughs> Scotland. So, how many of you folks are shaving? Folks, and as opposed to like other things, is this the shaving section here, or have I lost all my credibility with with auto reviews? I think I've lost a lot of credibility, guys, because I just don't. You just have to shave your head. I'm losing credibility because I haven't seen Steve W in the longest time. Shaving and everything, Mike Vance. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up in just a second. Mostly shaving. There you go. Live streams will keep coming. Now, I, and for you guys, <laughs> with, for you guys that like autos, I have a few coming. I have the Ram, 2020 Ram, 1500 Laramie which is a beautiful vehicle, that's coming. I have a Jeep from 2019, and uh, I'm gonna get into more and more autos. At I'm gonna try to do at least one a month, guys. And uh, try to bring some new things to the mix and also do more of these lives. I'm gonna do the restaurant reviews. Mike Vance, show supporter. Thank you for your support, brah. Cars are good, yeah. And I'd like to bring something new to car reviews. I don't watch, no. Catalina still has the Tesla, I believe. I cannot confirm. I have to call you about that. But um, Pedro is my buddy and we've done several car reviews together. I, I have most enjoyed my car reviews with Pedro. I may have to do some car reviews with uh, Mr. Vance and maybe a car review with Egyptian Dude. Maybe I can get Egyptian Dude and Vance together and we can do a, a, a car review amongst the three clowns. That might be a good one. You're in? All right, Brent. All right. So I'm going to wrap it up. But I'm going to get back to the point I came in with. Be prepared for those of you who love someone that's driving. Right? Make sure they know how to change a tire. Link below. I'll put it in a few minutes. I'll put a link to the video that shows you step by step how to change your tire. At least you get a, a sense of it. But really, you got to get out and get your hands on it. Um, it's totally... A total necessity, especially when you're out at night and you don't, you know, you can't be waiting around. I was going to wait for three hours for someone to come. Triple A would probably take a long time, too. It was a holiday weekend. All right. All right, brother. You guys have a good night. And thanks for watching. 
I'll see all you clowns soon. I'm getting scruffy, so there'll, there'll be a shaving video coming up soon. And again, see a, a, a C F and see you, Mike, Mike Vance and all the rest of you clowns. I'll talk to you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow. And you know what to do. You're going to keep pushing play. I'll see you later. Keep pushing play. Link below.